The new Leica ME240. $3,995 for an authentic German-made full-frame Leica M rangefinder camera. Sounds unbelievable to some, it still sounds crazy to others. Yes, $4,000 is a crazy expensive price for a little rangefinder camera, but it's not a crazy price when you're talking about Leica. Leica has been known over the years, even since their film days before they got into digital, they've been known to be expensive, they've been known to be luxury, they've been known to be unique, and the passion for the brand from Leica users, and I'm talking hardcore Leica fans. Leica users are unique, they're dedicated to the brand, they love the rangefinder experience, they love the history of the company, they love the history of the M rangefinder, and Leica has just made a brilliant move and released, or announced I should say, release shipping is next month, July of 19, but they have announced the Leica ME240. This is a 39.95 rangefinder body that packs a serious punch and is lower, 2,000 lower than buying a new M240 that was released in 2013. Yet essentially, it is an M240 with a new color, a new paint job, so to speak. So today you can buy or pre-order a new ME240 from Leica for 2,000 less than it costs you to buy a new M240 right now, which is crazy because the ME240 is the M240. It's the same body, it's the same camera, it's the same sensor, it's the same controls, it's the same menu, even has the same 1080 HD video capability of the M240. The M240 is fantastic, it's still to this day one of my favorite M cameras. I prefer it to the M8, I prefer it to the M9, I prefer it in some ways to the new M10, um, and I'll tell you in what ways I do, but if you wanna see my full review of the M240 from 2013, and if you haven't seen it, I highly suggest you read it. If you're thinking about the ME240, I highly suggest you read my M240 review. They are essentially the same camera. I'll link to that review below in the description box. Um, but the ME240, uh, being that it is an M240, there are things I liked about that camera more than all of the other digital rangefinders from Leica. Um, I don't mind the slightly fatter body because it gives me a bigger, fatter battery that lasts longer than what's in the M10. Rangefinder, I found it just as easy to focus, view through, and work as I did the M10 or even the M9. There's always a lot of talk about they improve the rangefinder. I never really saw much of that. It worked as it should. They all work as they should. They're all bright. They're all, you're looking through glass and, and merging up that rangefinder patch to achieve focus. So the M240, the ME240 is a wonderful camera. The dynamic range is actually quite good for being such an older camera. The file quality is different from the M10, from the M9, from the M8. It's a little richer, different colors for Leica during the M240 days. But the ME240 is a solid rangefinder, and for $39.95, you're saving $2,000 over a new M240, right? You're saving three or $4,000 over an M10 or an M10P, MP10, whatever they call it these days. Um, the ME240 is meant to be a starter rangefinder, even though it's premium all the way. Um, if you're looking to get your feet into Leica, but those prices always turned you off, $8,000 for a body only, then $4,000, $5,000 for a lens, that could set you back to $13,000 for a body and a lens, you can get an ME240 with, say, a Voigtlander 51.2, and you're under $5,000. That is amazing for a fully featured Leica M German-made quality rangefinder in 2019. I've also been showing you images uh, from my M240 review. Remember, the ME240 is essentially an M240, but you could get it brand new with a warranty for $39.95. A warranty with a Leica is very important. So I just wanted to put that out there. I highly recommend the ME240 for anyone wanting to get into Leica. If you're a Leica aficionado and you have an M10, 
uh, and you have an M9 and you never picked up the M240, it truly is a wonderful camera and you can see why I think that if you read the review of the 240 I did back in 2013, it's something like 10,000 words, 80, 90 photos. It's crazy, it's long, it's very detailed. So highly recommend the ME240. Kudos to Leica for releasing it with that new paint job as well. So if you like what I do, thumbs up and subscribe. I'll have more coming up over the next few weeks. I do plan on reviewing the Hasselblad X1D2. There's a new Voigtlander lens for Sony that I'll be reviewing, two of them I think actually. Thank you, love you all, and I will see you next time.